<laughs> yeah. I've got my shirt on. You're damn right. And I got pants on too. Oh, uh, haven't really done just to sit down bullshit for a while. So this ain't really going to be a, a long one. But today was the day of the turtles. Um, I got done making that video a few minutes ago and uh, came inside and. made a blue cup um but i wanted to tell you what i did yesterday sunday yesterday was yesterday that was sunday sunday was yesterday was sunday super bowl sunday i went to pensacola florida and uh visit with my grandfather okay it was his birthday he was 94 years old yesterday okay check this out this joker still goes out to the jazz club at night and plays the drums in the band. 94 years old. Kicking it. Now, got him a girlfriend. He's got him a girlfriend. He was, he'd been married. Uh, you know, I ain't gonna go into his whole life story, but he got a girlfriend. He goes to the jazz club. He plays golf. He plays the drums in the band. He's a good old guy. Uh, happy birthday, Ray, 94 years old. And thank you for your service so very much. He's a World War II veteran, okay? Yeah, he did serve in World War II. Uh, that's what's happened yesterday. Um, I already knew the Broncos was going to win because, you know, the reason the Broncos were going to, I knew the Broncos were going to win is because I'd never heard of the other team. I only watched the Super Bowl. And when it comes to NFL, I only watch the Super Bowl. And the other team has never been mentioned when it came time to being in a Super Bowl before. So, uh, first time I ever heard of a Panther. I mean, the, the team. So, yeah. <laughs> Good luck next year, whatever. I watched a little bit of it, and... Uh, once, uh, I think there was a, something occurred. It was like a fumble, and they took it right into the damn end zone and had a, got a touchdown. The Broncos got the touchdown. I can't remember exactly what happened, you know. But at that point, I knew that it was just, you know, the Broncos were going to win. That really wasn't the point that I knew that it was going to win. It was just, you know. That it confirmed it for me. I was like, this other team is fucking stupid. Anyway, I am not a football fan. I only like to watch the playoff. Or, or the, you know, the, the, the championship game, which is the Super Bowl. And uh, the uh, college championship. The SEC. Southeastern Conference or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Uh... South, yeah, I guess that's what you would call it. I'm not, I'm not that big upon that stuff, but uh, we had a good time over at uh, Ray's yesterday, and had a nice turkey dinner and opened up presents and things, and we had some cake and wished him a, a happy, birth, a happy ninety fourth, ninety four years old. Could you imagine? Being 94 years old, I'm not going to make it. I'm pretty sure of that. I'm not going to make it. But if I ever do make it, wow. I hope that I am as uh, good of a guy and as happy as him. I mean, he's, he's a really good guy and he's really happy. And he gets around pretty well and he's still pretty active. And 94 to have a girlfriend. <laughs> She ain't no girl. I mean, she's she's a woman, but you know what I'm saying. Kind of like that. One of them things. Yeah. I mean, they're close. To, they're close in age. <laughs> well, I don't, don't want to get into that too much about that. But um, what else is going on? What the hell else? I'm looking around trying to find a subject to talk about. Oh, I've got my UV filter on the camera right now. And the reason why is because I've taken the wide angle lens off. I got it over there on the shelf because I was trying to take some pictures of a duck and some turtles and stuff. You've probably seen that by now. And uh, 
but I put this UV filter on my camera which I did a little bit of research and some people have uh, kindly put some comments in my video about that what's it good for nothing not really it's not good for nothing the only thing it's good for on digital cameras and camcorders is to protect the real lens that's in there okay keeps dust off of your real lens wow does this look how it stays focused on me and doesn't focus on that yeah I get off track so freaking easy don't I but anyway I got the I got the uh, UV filter on there which uh, especially when I go to a mud bog put that bitch on there so if somebody sprays mud on me mud gets on that lens right there that glass protector which it's just protecting it's not even a lens it's a filter it's just a piece of piece of glass that goes over it and uh, yeah that's a pretty good reason to use it is to uh, protect your real lens which my Sony camera up there on the shelf it has had mud splattered right directly on the lens and I didn't know these lens were coated with special things I don't know what they're coated with but it damn sure ain't rain X or uh <laughs> it ain't fucking rhino liner or line X or rain X or it ain't got it ain't I don't know what they're coated with if you know what a lens is coated with and why put a comment down below anyhow mine's been coated with mud speaking of mud 23 days from today today is uh february the 8th 23 days from today i'm gonna be going to film a mud bog for y'all it's gonna be the iron horse mud ranch y'all have heard about it and y'all seen it quite a bit on my channel um it's going to be uh think it's called the dysfunctional family reunion happens every March <laughs> Perry Florida you ain't got like mud to come and have a good time okay you like alligator tails on a stick you like whiskey you like beer you like women you like live music you like camping you like partying you like good people and rednecks and good friends then you should come that's that's what that's all about man i mean you know the mud trucks are awesome they are a wonderful display of superhuman power superhuman power because these superhumans have got a lot of power to build these powerful trucks that kind of sounded fucked up but you know what i'm saying these are some wonderful humans there's some good people that build super powerful trucks and they're very powerful very powerful and these trucks are totally different than what you see at monster jam and the, the monster trucks these aren't monster trucks okay these are mega trucks these trucks are bad fucking ass okay these are backyard barnyard barn these are badass trucks okay that's all there is to it that's all there is to it these ain't professionals they're better than that these guys know what they're doing and they customize their shit to their likings and they go out there and they kick some freaking ass they ain't got corporate sponsors you know what i mean some of them their business sponsors it or whatever but they're not sponsored by a bunch of big companies and they got they they've put their own hard-earned money into this hobby and you've really got to appreciate that good old boys you know spending their money on something that they love mud mud balls man that's all it is up that's all it is up what did i say i was about to burp but I'm glad that didn't come up. Anyway, this video went on long enough. Does it even tell me on here? I'm nine minutes into this video. It does tell me. <laughs> now I feel like Matt, he looks at the timer and says, damn, this video is getting too long. Better shut it off. Yep, I better shut this one off. So, 
on that point. Thank you, Matt, again. I don't know how many times I'm going to thank you, but here's another one. Thank you for my blue cup. If we can get it just right. And, um... Tappy, tappy. And I had label down. My label was down. <laughs> Can't really help it, but that's how it worked. Thanks for watching, folks. And as always, peace. Ah, I stole his line. <laughs> Thanks again, bro. Appreciate the cup. Now we figure out to turn the camera off.